you. Well, the opening of the Cuban and U.S. embassies in Washington and Havana is expected to improve relations between the U.S. and countries in Latin America. But what will the effect be on relations between its strongest regional critic, Venezuela? CCTV Stephen Gibbs is in Caracas. There is a U.S. embassy in Caracas, but no ambassador. While maintaining diplomatic relations, neither country has accepted the other's ambassador since 2010. In fact, for much of the last 17 years, relations between Venezuela's leftist government and the U.S. have been uneasy. Caracas accuses Washington of plotting against it. The U.S. denies that. Venezuela, meanwhile, has formed a political alliance and economic partnership with Cuba, a mutual suspicion of the United States shared by the late Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez and Cuba's Fidel Castro brought them close together. So now Cuba and the United States are beginning a new era of relations. Where does that leave Venezuela? Some say isolated. It is a problem for Venezuela since uh, uh, the U.S. Uh, um, is improving its position uh, with Cuba, with the region, and the Venezuelan government uh, looks like more and more isolated from those uh, uh, new dynamics. And that's one reason plenty of people here do believe that the United States and Venezuela are discussing a new relationship behind the scenes. Last month, a senior U.S. State Department official held a brief informal meeting while in Haiti with the head of Venezuela's National Assembly. Is a deal close? I think one sign of that is the fact that the U.S. has been so cautious when talking about the Venezuelan situation, the political situation. So I think uh, some, some kind of arrangements are going on. Many Venezuelans hope that's right. It needs to be a very respectful relationship, them respecting the Venezuelans and us respecting them. I think it could go either way. If relations improve, that will probably be the result of more of a change from the Venezuelan side than the American side. Alternatively, relations between Cuba and Venezuela could be broken because Venezuela may feel betrayed. Either way, what's happening in Havana will have repercussions across this region. Stephen Gibbs, CCTV, Caracas.